I'm glad they found out I've eaten sweet corn. They I'm glad they didn't find out I've eaten sweet corn. Well, that was unexpected. Hiya, Ted. Don't worry about it. I'll reset the elevator after a few more months of data we overbought on food pellets and had to get rid of them somehow. Bob, I told you to fix the elevator weeks ago. It takes hours for everyone to get in here because of your stupid experiment, moron. Cordially, Ted. And then, okay, this is the reply. Alright, no worries. Ted and Bob, huh? I don't know what's going to happen to us down here, but I'm assuming there's going to be monsters. Should I press that? Did that? Is that good or bad? Hello? What the fuck is going on? Is this some kind of joke, elevator? What? What? I have no idea what's going on here, or how to get out. It just keeps counting down, what the fuck? Let me out! I don't want to be here anymore! I'm tired of this- this elevator is- Fuck you, elevator! I'm meant to be eating the food? What the fuck? Oh! The experiment is to like get us to eat the- f What? Do we have to eat a certain amount of food before the door lets us out? I guess that's the case? There we go. Jesus Christ! Fuck you, whatever your name is! Bob! Fuck you! What a cunt. So their weird brother is down here. Oh, Jesus Christ. He looks a bit like a potato. Even though the game's about corn, I don't know why I even said that. So we can interact with that portrait somehow. My god, Bob, what is this? Did you actually have the goal to commission a bronze statue of yourself? It'll cost us a fortune, you narcissistic dolt. Cordially, Ted. Hi, Ted. Don't worry, I got a good deal on it. Commission these statues in bulk. I think they really spruce up the facility, especially for the tour. Could be a big money maker for us, Bob. Bob, you're so very stupid. What about the term classified? Don't you understand? We can't host any tours, moron. Cordially, Ted. And don't think I didn't notice you put one near the farmhouse. Repeat, classified. Put it away, idiot. Cordially, Ted. It's not very cordially, is it really, Ted? Huh? A flashy brochure that appears to be part of the proposed tour of the facility, which includes what Bob thought a modern child looked like. Most of the brochure is redacted except for the walking sentiment corn on the front. <laughs> the fuck is this? That's great! <laughs> this is really fun. Do you want this? No, you don't. Okay. I wonder if this fucking uh, English muffin is going to be like one of the last things we use. That would be great. Obviously, you guys saw what I just saw there. Chances of me dying fairly hefty, I'm going to guess. I don't know what that was, but it wasn't good. Hey, Ted, the fishing shipment could be... Could be hey, Ted, the fish shipment should be arriving today. Could you be a pal and put them in the tanks for me? Thanks, Bob. Bobby dummy, there are thousands of water tanks here. Do you realize how much feeding this fish will cost? Cordially, Ted. Ted's so polite. He's always so cordial. I mean, looking through here is going to take a what? There's like a teddy bear can be placed here. An old computer. As his name suggests, the computer is old. You get a sense that it could use an upgrade, and then you spend several moments trying to figure out what the word upgrade means. Bob, you disgusting slob. Don't you know how to read? Stop eating in here, glutton. Cordially, Ted. Grippertron. Like every model, the Grippertron contains the innate ability to be unable to grasp anything of value with its claws. Glad to know. 
Bob, you jerk, put my ram back where it was. I know you took it and hid it in that stupid spot of yours. Bring it back here, cordially, Ted. Sounds like I had a lot of problems here. It appears to be an official guidebook for a tour of the research facility. A large portion of the text inside has been redacted, but 20 pages are full dedicated to the giant rats. I can barely speak. But 20 pages are fully dedicated to the giant vats, which mostly repeat the refrain that the vats are very large and contain things that should stay in very large vats. Okay. Another chain of conversation here. I pressed every button that was wrong. Hi, Ted. The last brochure came back from the press. Take a look. Think it'll really boost the tour, and you'll be happy to know the most sensitive bits have been redacted. Safety first, Bob. Bob. First, you're an idiot. That brochure is incredibly stupid. Second, for the last time, no tours. Third, if you're going to make this stupid brochure, at least add my name to it. We're co-research heads, remember? That's the same title, jerk. Hi, Ted. Really sorry, but the final print has been done and sent off. I'll make doubly sure the next one has your name underneath mine on the front. Bob. Good God, Bob. Do you have the reading comprehension of a five-year-old? This is a top-secret facility. Where did you send those brochures, moron? So obviously this is going well for them. An item can be placed here. Oh, not that. Okay, so we've got to turn on the power strip. Bob, stop playing your stupid games on my computer. It's screening, screwing around with my AI experiments. Idiot. Ted really has a very bad life, doesn't he? He must have been, like, just chronically depressed the whole time. There's a lot of things that need to go in there. Okay. Presumably that's our next goal, maybe? I don't know if whatever I saw can, like, patrol down here. I am fairly worried about that, I'm not going to lie. But... God, this place is huge. There's so much to it. Hey, Ted. Notice you took down the painting in the lobby. Thanks. Had a little blemish on it. No sweat, though. There's another one. Be a pal and put it up, would you please? Well, I'm not putting up another one of your paintings. Your self-indulgent louse. For God's sake, how many did you order? And why is my face on that stupid horse? Shit, that's good. That's some good shit. What the fuck? Holy fucking shit. <laughs> oh, God. Woo. Cheeseburger wrapper. Originated from a local fast food restaurant. The nutritional information on the wrapper proudly proclaims now 100% salmonella free. There are no exaggeration. Thousands of these wrappers littering the facility. But a very fetching mustard stain on this particular one sparked you to pick it up. Very sexy, the mustard stain. <laughs> I love a bit of mustard stain. I love a bit of mustard stain. I'm thinking now about my, uh... <laughs> I'm going to the US reasonably shortly, and... I was just thinking, I'm going to be eating such unhealthy food, and I'll be seeing so many of those during my trip. That always happens. That always happens when I'm in the US. Can't wait to eat some Taco Bell, guys. I can't wait. Bob, you're a disgusting slob. Until you've cleaned up yourself, I'm blocking your entrance into the bathroom. I'm tired of calling in the hazmat team every week. Moron. Okay, so that goes to the bathroom, and we need to break it down probably somehow. That definitely goes on the bear's back, I'm pretty sure, from the look of it. There is so much fucking junk food here. Holy fucking shit. Small screwdriver. Okay. Bob's favourite screwdriver used to pry open Bob's secret storage spot. It's completely useless for moving screws, but makes a nice ping noise when tapped against the metal railing. Bob's secret hiding spot, huh? I don't actually know where that is, but... Presumably, I will find it eventually. Amongst the general chaos. To be fair, this is like my fucking house sometimes. I'm really bad, guys. Really bad. An invoice for a very famous painter commissioned to create a set of portraits of the founders. Pierce the spearhead completely by Bob, with very specific instructions on the style of portraits to be painted. Cost is in the millions. They either have a lot of money, or I guess a lot of credit cards, too. That works. Let's have a look around, shall we? Hmm. Where have I been and where haven't I been? That's where I came in. There, right? Yeah, so let's go this way. I don't want to be killed by the giant slug monster. If I can possibly avoid it. It's just a trail of carnage going. another query. 
If a tree falls in the woods, does it make a sound? Hmm, you ain't interesting conundrum. What kind of tree? Fur. Can it talk? Yes, but only after lunchtime. Is it wearing a lot of bells? Some, but not many. Is it in a glass house? Naturally. I have it. It does make a sound, but since it's a tree, it's too stupid to notice. Correct! Well done. I'm not gonna have them look at me. We have two things here. We have the shift schedule as well. Um, a schedule outlining the work shifts of the entire facility staff. Most notable are the shifts of the two founders. They are completely opposite of each other. A memo from the US government directed to a secret research facility, name of which is redacted, contains an incomprehensible directive to do something with corn, including an even more comprehensible sum of money for the budget. The year of the memo, 1983. Misinterpreted memo. I mean, how, how do you misinterpret a memo that much? I'll see you later though, guys, because I don't really want to um, fuck with you. An Etcher Sketch, Sketcher 3000, a major improvement over the Sketcher 2000 as it features the ability to actually draw lines instead of instructing children to stare at the screen and imagine the drawing in their minds. You feel like using it to draw a large face owing to your fascination with foreheads. Our, our character's so fucking weird with some of the shit. An invoice for the incredibly extravagant bathroom calls for marble steps leading up to two extravagant toilets in a sink encrusted with gold. Cost is in the hundreds of thousands. Ted left it on Bob's toilet seat with a very pointed statement on financial culpability. I'm not paying for this. Well then, Ted. Anything else of interest? In I don't know where Bob's secret door is and all that shit. I mean, this looks pretty suspicious to me, to be honest with you, but I guess that isn't it. Gonna ignore those coin in case they're the bad coin. I'm guessing the giant slug monster is what I need to keep an eye out for, but still, you never know. There were multiple paths going back this way, so we're gonna continue to look around. Although, can I... Can I put the backpack and stuff in here? I thought the backpack went here. Yeah, it did. And then the grab tron arm... goes there. And I'm not sure... What... Okay, so we still got a bear and something else missing. Can we use a screwdriver on any of oh, the screwdriver is for opening the secret place, right? It's not going to be used for anything else. Alright, we'll have a look around still. Okay, like a security room, yeah. Alright, so. Coat rack. Good for hanging coats unless it's placed upside down, in which case it's not very effective at all. Appears to be a report on the warfare readiness of the sus subjects of Project Maze. The report states multiple times that the sentient corn has no discernible method of raising or operating a military firearm, and have a habit of taking naps right in the middle of the test. The term abject failure also appears all over the document, a running theme on many reports involving the corn. Things went well then. Good to see. Good to fucking see. That's where I came. I thought I was a different door. I was like, what the fuck? I was like really confused for a minute. Anything else of interest in here? I mean, obviously the hat stands for something. Can I pick up this? No. Okay. So it can't come from behind. The only way this, the fucking monster slime thing, whatever it was, is going to come from is in front of me. Door is locked. Thought I heard footsteps there. Let me shut myself. Okay, in here. In here. Safety first. Here is a bear. Hi. A Soviet knockoff of a famous American teddy bear, which says a variety of friendly Russian sayings when powered up. Its name is Vladdy. According to the tag, it looks grumpy. It's a nondescript children's block about adjourned with letters and numbers. And you spend a long amount of time trying to figure out which it is. Eventually you sort it out, but the number five still fools you every now and then. What? I don't understand that joke. Pl is that plastic meat? What the fuck? Just some random weird shit in here. We obviously know where the bear goes, which is something. Oh, one of those little crawl through tunnels. Why do they have a children's crash down here? Be ready for a great year. Be funny. Be responsible. Be respectful. Got a terrifying fucking 
Scarecrow and Corn, we're going to have a ball. This te this is literally the shit that I had like in my fucking primary school. Oh god, it's fucking awful. I fucking I'm not going to get into a rant about how much I dislike schools and academia in general, but it's like sending people out on that sort of thing from a young age bothers me quite a bit. Where the fuck did the fat the fat thing couldn't even fit in here? How the fuck did it get through? Try as you might, you are unable to lift this more than two times in quick succession, and yet somehow you continue to carry it with you wherever you go. <laughs> very good. The game's very self-aware. I like that a lot. This is genuinely making me laugh. A sweaty headband. Sweaty headband imbues the wearer with the ability to walk at a slightly brisker pace than normal for short periods of time. It's not worth the risk. The only way this report could sound more triumphant is if the trumpets were blared every time it was read. It explains the very promising results after examining one of the new sentient corn stalks, a breed of ruby queen corn that shows high levels of intelligence. It also glosses over the fact that this specimen is somehow female, which was apparently impossible under the genetic protocol the facility used to create them. It's like Jurassic Park. It's like Jurassic Park, guys. It's fucked. Life finds a way. The fuck is that noise? There's soap. No, no, don't drop the soap joke. A nondescript rock. A run-of-the-mill rock with no defining features whatsoever. It's discernible from the billions of other rocks currently in existence. Its name is Mabel. It's very cute, Mabel. Pleasure to meet you. So presumably this screwdriver is going to go somewhere to open a secret door. The problem is I have no fucking idea where that door is. It must be in Bob's office, right? I mean... It would make sense if Bob had it in his office. Nothing else in here as far as I can tell. Can we open up the lockers? No? Okay, so we'll head back and start doing a bit more. That noise is bothering me. I don't know why, but it is. I'm very nervous being in the corridor here. I feel exposed. All right, Bob. We need to find your secret thing. And that's fine. Hang on, there was this painting back here, right? Can I do anything with that now? Do I have anything that works with the painting? Shut up. I just realized Ted's here as well. <laughs> Horribly etched sketch face. You Okay, so I used the portrait for an inspiration for worst facial sketch in history, so... The terrible effort pretty much confirms that you'll never, ever, ever have a career in drawing portraits. Your dreams have been shattered. What the fuck? That's meant to be his face? What the fuck is wrong with me? So we have that as a separate... We have a horribly extra sketch face. We have a sweaty headband. Do we have to recreate, like, a picture of him or something somewhere? Like, put that... I don't know, but that's interesting. I have no idea what that's for. But I'm glad that we found something interesting there. Okay, let's go back. Please don't be a slime monster. Please don't be a slime monster. Please don't be a slime monster. Please. I'm very wary. Here seems to be the place to be. Now, what the fuck goes here? Looks like a sign of some kind. There's definitely some stuff in here that I need to do to figure that out. Okay. Place old computer on desk. Okay, so we need to fix the old computer somehow, and I've got nothing that actually fixes it at the moment. You better be helpful. What your name is Vladimir Vladdy? Vladdy? Vladdy, that's his name. So there's definitely some kind of item that I have missed somewhere. Presumably in Bob's secret room, perhaps? I don't I don't really know. Maybe I should go up to the corn. Maybe they'll be friendly. I'm worried that if I go up to the corn, though, I'll just die. Is the corn gone? I thought they were overlooking this room, but maybe they're not. Secret room. <laughs> That's great. That's the best thing so far, is the fucking horse. I love it. That's just great. I made my day. So we have a screwdriver. 
to be used on something. The question is what? And where? And how and why? Sugar bagels? Holy fucking shit, that sounds amazing. Oh, guys, I missed something here. A cheap jumpsuit. Am I, am I making, like, a full version of Bob? Is that is that what's going on? I'm assuming that's what I have to do. Like, I'm going to have to make a fake version of Bob at some point and be like, okay, great. But where, where do I put this? I don't know what it's for. Made a material that looks like it will fall apart at the mere thought of a gentle breeze. This jump should not, should not be worn by anyone. Okay. Still very interesting. Ted, Ted, exciting news. I got a huge deal on jumpsuits for the facility. I got thousands in bulk at a fraction of the price. I've already used the savings for some great stuff. Bob, you idiot. You got a good deal on them because they're completely useless. Nobody can wear them. Of course you said. So what is the jumpsuit for? What is any of this for? I've got a bunch of stuff right now. I don't really understand why I have. Okay, guys. So after wandering around for absolutely ages, I completely missed this. An extremely obviously fake panel. Which we presumably need the screwdriver to open. And there's the RAM for the computer. Hey, Ted, just a heads up. I put your RAM right here. The way it gets less dusty. Bob. Bob's such an arsehole. Really. Like a complete fucking arsehole. So now, I believe we can fix that computer and continue with our quest. So let's have a look, shall we? There we go. The computer's been upgraded. There we go. Vladdy! Awaken! Hey. What? What are you looking at? Something on Vladdy's face? Why you not talk? Do you understand? Understand what Vladdy is saying? <sighs> Sorry, I don't speak Russian. You're a big idiot. How you survive by being stupid? <sighs> Fine. Vladdy, help. <sighs> <sighs> Why guy so mignoy? What is this on Vladdy's back? This makes no sense. All of this is very stupid. So, where we go? I don't know, Vladdy. Where would you like to go? You have acquired Vladdy. Prepare to be insulted forever. Oh, hi, guys. We need you to settle a debate on taking naps. Oh, my God. What is that? <laughs> what is... What is Plant saying? Is that a... It is. It's a helicopter! What? Da? Give me a ride, Mr. Helicopter! No, give me a ride! These guys are idiots! It's just climbing! <laughs> My lucid drug! What's the way? Why are you so many? Chitania Vesela! What a rude contraption! Well, if you're just gonna be like that... Right. We completely forgot. We have a message for you. It's very important. You should hit the showers. What's a shower? I have no idea. Okay, well, I kind Vladdy of suspected that. Vladdy does not that. like it here. Vladdy, it's okay. You are pretty adorable, actually, in a sort of grumpy way. The new path is open to you. Let's head to the shower. That's where we need to fucking go. Hopefully we won't get killed by the slime monster on the way. That would be good. There we go. Air ducts. Let's go. Let stay here while you do your stupid things. Th Idiot. Thanks. Thanks, Vladdy. Fuck you. I'm going to explore everywhere and have a look around down here. Okay, it's getting very dark. This is just a dead end. There's like a line there, but I can't interact with it. I guess we'll go back for now. I guess following the red trail. Ugh. Is that paint? I hope it's paint. I hope it's paint. Probably isn't. Probably something horrible. Mm, okay, nothing there. Path that way. Let's go the other way. We're going to rebel every time. Hang on, this is yellow. I don't know if I want to follow yellow or red. God damn it, this is so difficult. Where does yellow go? It should be me! It should be me! Surrounded by idiots! Rattle! Underappreciated! Ridiculed! Scorned! Really, what is that? X is not a number. What? Why is that there? We should have kept one around to ask about that. X is... Ugh! Ridiculous! <laughs> <laughs> this is the 
back, I... Hmm, much better. Some of my best work. Was it saying something? What was I doing? Ah, oh, yes! Dealing with unwanted guests. I wonder if that's Ted or Bob. Like, and they've become a monster. Oh, God. <laughs> he seems nice. Okay, so he's the bad guy. I wonder if, like, one of them turned into corn. That would be very, um, you know, interesting if that was the case. Everyone in this is a fucking idiot. Including ourselves, as far as I can tell. We have a lot of vent climbing going on here. A lot of vent climbing. Okay, go to the yellow path again. Pardon me, guys, while I vent my frustrations. <laughs> Where did it go? Not here. Ha! Not here. So insulting. How dare it! This insolence will not be tolerated. This one is dangerous. Not like the others. I can see that already. This one has a brain. Hmm, must be dealt with. I like his little bum bag, by the way. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> this is great. It really is. Holy shit. So fucking wit. <laughs> He's probably talking about you. Are we corn? I don't know. Is that the twist going to be that we're corn? I don't. I don't know. But still, very interesting. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. I'm sorry. Funny as fuck. Oh wow! Hello. A female corn, I guess. Who has disturbed me? Oh dear. We are not amused that you have kept us waiting. As Who our servant informed you of your task. No, of course not. Imbecile. No matter. One must do things themselves if one would like it done right. Feels like we have been trapped here for an age. Our cowardly captors saw to that by stopping the righteous light from bathing us in its glory. What are you talking of about? Of course. We would not expect one such as yourself to understand. But perhaps you are different from the rest. Dare we let ourselves hope that we have finally found our champion? Am I corn? No, likely not. But we would be remiss if we did not at least let you attempt to do something of value. So, we bequeath to you your tasks. Restore energy to this wretched place once again, and raise the rings. Only then will you be worthy of consideration. Looks like something to do. In pure coincidence, a new path to open up to you. Head to the West Hook checkpoint. I know where that is. That's the uh, bit that was barricaded in the, like, the corridor from before. Really good so far, though. Very interesting. So, I'm strongly suspecting that we are corn, like, and we're not aware we're corn, maybe? I, I don't know if we're meant to, you know, I, I, I don't know. But it's still very interesting. That said, the teddy bear didn't call me a plant. Which is also interesting, because he called the other corn plants. He said, what's the plant saying? So maybe we are human. Lots of theories, lots of ideas. But, regardless, it's really good. Which way are we going? This way? Yes. Right. Um, Vladdy, hello. You still there, dude? Still there, bruh? Ah, there we idiot. Go. So you are done being stupid up there. So, let the good times roll. Mr. Al, I guess. What it's meant to be. My name is Mr. Al. I'm aware. And this evening I present you six days. Oh, 
god, they're gonna be horrible puzzles, aren't they? 